exchange some technical topics just to say a quick few words about our um, oscilloscope training course. We are running um, so we've got an itch there, a two-day hands-on oscilloscope training course um, and this is known as the oscilloscope masterclass and really we call it the masterclass because it's aimed at getting you from being perhaps a novice scope user all the way up to being a more proficient scope user. Um, we host the courses here in our newly refurbished skills centre in Bridgewater, Somerset um, and uh, we tend to find people that come on this type of course are a scope owner but not necessarily a scope user. They have the scope as a resource in their workshop but um, it's maybe been used in the past but the, the, the use has dropped off somewhat. Um, so the idea behind the Silverscope Masterclass is to get you in the groove of using this very extensive resource as part of your diagnostic armory. Um, if we talk about customers that have been on this course, they generally come to us um, having had the scope for a while and not using it and they're looking for some inspiration um, and maybe looking at predominantly two key factors. Key factor number one is to improve their ability to see what's going on with the diagnostic job and that leads to key factor number two in improving their fix rate and reducing their overall diagnostic time which are these um, are the key factors and benefits for using an oscilloscope. Um, generally the oscilloscope will shorten your diagnostic time but also reduce the uh, potential for misdiagnosis. Now we run this course as a two-day hands-on face-to-face course and the face-to-face -face course um, we find again reports back from our customer they really benefit from the face-to-face -face course. Many of the guys who come to see us have um, been following people on YouTube much like we all do and are watching how-to videos and people doing short um, examples of measuring this or measuring that and what they tend to find with the face-to-face -face, the feedback we get when they come and actually do it hands-on and uh, communicate with the instructor is that they've got the ability to drill into more detail and to ask questions of things they're unsure with and really that benefits and strengthens the, the learning they've had away from here um, and leads to an overall you know better experience. Um, the two-day face-to-face training really we do predominantly hands-on in the workshop. There's some theory where we talk about um, key aspects of uh, setting up and utilizing the oscilloscope and getting the best you can from it and then we come down and put that into practice and we generally have vehicles here um, such as this one for service and or repair diagnosis and um, very often depending on the workload we may have live jobs in the workshop that we factor into the course um, uh, but we generally get hands on and do the, the key gambit of things that you're going to want to do with your scope and generally we would cover um, petrol engine management, diesel engine management systems, talk about most of the sensors and actuators that go around the system, we talk about single channel oscilloscope use, multi-channel relationships between inputs and outputs, thinking if we can um, you know, diagnose the root cause of a problem despite the symptom, we're always drilling back to the root cause. Uh, we will cover body systems, so body electrical stuff, um, CAN bus, LIN bus, most flex ray, um, and generally, you know, in, in vehicle networking aspects, how do you measure that with the scope? How do you set the scope up? Can you do comparisons and comparatives? We dabble into a little bit of serial decoding, how that might be useful to your diagnostic um, fault path. We do uh, ignition analysis, which is becoming um, a more dominant um, research point for running concerns. Um, injector analysis, so we do, you know, Peugeot, petrol, Peugeot, diesel. Um, we do FSI, GDI, essentially CAN analysis. We start to feather into pressure analysis, so we're using the WPS 500 from Pico and we're getting into some very interesting things, engine condition testing, you know, doing an engine condition test within sort of five minutes and proving the root cause without, without any strip or fit. So unobtrusive testing with the scope is a key thing and really allows you to see things that you would only guess at before. So, so very, very key and important. We also start to look at current ramping. So we're using the micro and mini current clamps for current analysis. And here we're looking at the actual work done in a circuit rather than just either the voltage or as we see from our scan tool, the command signal, we're looking at the overall picture and current analysis enables us to look at work done. Um, we do you know, cranking amps as well as the, the range of current clamps and we focus on one of the days really deep into WPS 500 and we start to look at pressure transducers, the first look sensor, engine condition, exhaust pulse analysis, in cylinder compression testing, really to open up you know, that form of testing and show you some of the benefits if you're not already doing it or for those guys that are in fact using that, we can um, 
you know, strengthen your knowledge of that subject and enable you to make a more accurate diagnosis. Um, in terms of the course itself, you can book online on our website. Um, the online bookings are linked to the places available, so you can't book if there are no spaces. And the next course is coming up in a couple of weeks, but check our website out for details. If you need any further information, you can get hold of me um, on the inquiries link on our Technical Topics website, or give us a ring 01278 428699. Be happy to have a chat to see if the course is right for you and give you further advice uh, as required. So that's it for me. Hopefully we'll see you on a course soon. Thanks very much.